Are you kidding me? What does colorblindness look like when it comes to a Rubik's Cube? So to start off, I have a regular Moyu Outlaw version 1 with white, fluorescent green, fluorescent yellow, fluorescent blue, fluorescent orange, and fluorescent red. For the next cube we have, this is a red-green colorblind, Deuteronopia. This would be the white, this would be green, this would be yellow, this would be blue, this would be orange, and this would be red. It's kind of weird. Pretty difficult too. At the end of the video, all of these cubes, including the next one, will be scrambled. This next cube is an example of Tritonopia, which is blue-yellow color blindness. This is the white, this is green, this is yellow, this is blue, this is orange, and this is red. This is what they all look like together. These are all the whites. What it would look like to see green, what it would look like to see yellow what it would look like to see blue, what it would look like to see orange, and what it would look like to see red. Now those of you who know about colorblindness, deuteronopia and proanopia are kind of the same, so I really didn't want to get another cube because it would be the same thing. Deuteronopia is the most common colorblindness. This type of colorblindness will happen 75% of the time if someone is colorblind. Tritonopia colorblind can happen in the seventh chromosome, and it's autosomal. It's pretty rare. If you want to know more about colorblindness, you can click in the description and look at these several websites that are appeared on the screen right now. Now, I'm going to do a scramble, and we're going to compare them. The scramble will also be posted in the description. Now here we have each scramble. There is another color blindness, but I did not get a cube for it. It is monochromacy. Monochromacy is black and white, and it only occurs in every 1 in 33,000 people. A quick and special thanks to the cubicle.us for having these stickers available. If you want to make one of these your own, click the links in the description, and they'll take you to the exact sticker sets that I used. And subscribe for some more interesting things such as this. So comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.